but we never had TV in the house. Now, how do you tell children uh, that TV you don't want? Because TV was just beginning to be something which every person who aspires or shows that they are have got some money buys. TV is a is a symbol of some wealth. A symbol that you today TV is hello commonplace, but in those days that you started having a TV was something. So, how to we were we were convinced right from the start that TV was not good. So then, what do you do? Because everybody is buying TVs, and our boys are finding that there is no TV in our house, and we are not exactly poor poor, but we don't have a TV. So we one day called them, and we said, I mean, one day call means you know we sat on one day, and we said. You know there is this thing about TV, and uh, in a TV, what happens is that there is a box, and there is a lot of nice, funny things which happen, nice things which happen, stories which are told, movies, and so on. Now the people who, the things that you, there are two kinds of people. There are people who go to all these wonderful places and make these movies. they take you and show you discovery channel they show you what happens in this part of the world that part of the world skiing uh, ice skating this that they go to those places they film they make and then there are people who never go anywhere they sit in their houses and they watch now you can be what shall we be shall we be the people who go and see everything and make things or shall we be the people who sit and watch the things instinctively they chose we shall go <laughs> we shall go do you want to be people i mean i'm telling you in a cut and dried fashion but do you want to be the people who will go to china one day or go to europe or go to uh, madhya pradesh or go to the snake park and see these things or do you want to be we can do one of the things we can't do both You can't do both. You can't bring the TV and also watch and also go. That can't happen. Choose. So they chose that we will go. And in school one day, when the teacher asked something about TV, uh, you know, uh, how many? Uh, I don't know. Not how many of you have TV, but something about on TV you must be seeing it. One of my boys was bold, and I don't remember which one. I think it was the youngest, but I'm not sure. Teacher, we don't have a TV. So the teacher was quite embarrassed. You know, she said. Oh, you you don't have a you don't have me. No, no, we don't have a TV because we are going everywhere to see all the things which are shown on the TV. <laughs> so he defended on his own the TV thing. Now you can't make promises and not keep them. You can't tell children you will go everywhere and not go anywhere. So on TV on Sundays, I remember they used to show some movie, long three-hour movie at that in those days. and everybody would be in their houses for tv now what is um, the boy would say not there is no one to play i could see that there was no one to play so every saturday and every sunday without fail we took them out we made it a habit to take them to the beach which was close by to the park to some place 3 hours of fun and they would tell their friends you know because i also told them you can get anybody whom you want along with you they began to tell others that instead of the tv we are going to the beach you want to come my mummy is taking so i had in the end this gaggle of children <laughs> whom i was taking to the beach who wanted to swim in the water i had to of course i was happy to get into the water myself So in my swimsuit and in the water, I would be there monitoring one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heads. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can see seven heads, and I would put the eldest boy, Rahul, who was the most, the more, um, you know, the one who listened a bit uh, better. I would say, Rahul, you along with me are on the backup line, and we are going to watch these guys who are in front and keep watching, keep counting, seeing that everybody is there and nobody is tumbling out of the, you know, the the kind of pool. So some days. and the great uh, uh, the great excitement about the tvs disappeared as more and more people began to join my tv show my band of going around some place and with that this whole thing about sunday tv movie everything 
just disappeared. I had never had any kind of resentment. There was one, there was one more reason why I didn't want a TV in the house. See, both Claude and I used to travel a bit. We had a maid servant who used to look after the, the, the boys, whom I told you was a very loving caregiver for the boys. But still, I knew that when my back was turned and when I went off, she would want to watch some TV show. And from one TV show, it would go on to another TV show and everybody would get hooked on to these things and the soap operas and whatever they were. So we never had TV all along until my father, at the age of 90, came to live with us. And I knew that dad used to watch these cricket matches and I, he needed something. And we bought a TV only when all the boys had finished their school. I think they had finished their college. And even then, they didn't want, they didn't want TV. And to, till today, the TV is in the house. I won't say nobody watches it. The second boy watches matches. The eldest one uh, watches a, some football match or whatever. Some eldest, doesn't watch it. eldest doesn't watch at all TV. And the youngest one occasionally watches. But TV is not an addiction. Yes. So without a fight, without, um, without a tussle, without a... You have two hours TV time, you have half an hour. If you're good, I'll let you watch. Never. No TV, no grumbling, no nothing which ever took place in the house.